All right, let's take a look at the key concepts for Azure Functions. These are not exactly my words, but I will uh, uh, provide uh, exceptions here as we describe this stuff. But the idea here is that we want to get broader knowledge about Azure Functions. So Azure Functions are lightweight and can be serverless. And they can be, and this is all going to be dependent on how you host them. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Azure Functions are easier to write and deploy. Easier to write and deploy than full web applications. Uh, that can be true. The idea though is that you are, uh, you m might have to uh, do less uh, coding in some regards, but then you might have to do more in other places like application integration. So uh, I would say that it shifts the responsibilities of what you have to uh, work on, but you it is better. I think Azure Functions are fast to execute because there is no at large application, startup time, initialization, or other events fired before the code is executed. Now, true that large applications, there are those downsides to them, but the uh, the trade-off here is that if you're using serverless functions, then you will be dealing with cold starts. Um, and so cold starts just means that, uh, you know, when you, are, when you have a function that hasn't been used in a while, that's going to have to boot up an environment. So... Uh, you know, there is that trade-off. Uh, now, in many cases, you can uh, pre-warm or have continuously running compute. Um, but if you do that, then you're not necessarily leveraging serverless like to be able to scale to zero. But, you know, you do get trade-offs. Azure Functions execution is triggered when an event is fired. That is true. Azure Functions do not need any infrastructure and have zero maintenance. Well, they do have infrastructure. It's just that you don't generally have to worry about the infrastructure um, in terms of Azure's implementation of functions, you do have to think a little bit more in general about the infrastructure underneath as opposed to Google Cloud or AWS, but at least you have a lot of options on uh, Azure and it has zero maintenance. Well, the infrastructure, that's true, but um, the your code itself, you know, if you're using Python 2 and Microsoft says, hey, we're going to expire or uh, deprecate the uh, Python 2 runtime, you have to use Python 3. Well, then you're gonna have to upgrade that stuff. So that is your maintenance. So there is maintenance with code, but um, that's no different than any other provider. Azure Functions can be built, tested, deployed in the Azure portal using a browser, only if you're using Windows. So uh, if you are hosting on Linux, there are definitely uh, uh, lots of limitations in the Azure portal. If you're using Windows, then there's no problem. In most cases, you should just use Windows because you're not going to be able to tell the difference um, in most cases, uh, but if you want to take the full advantage of being able to work in the portal, ap absolutely use Windows. Azure Functions are easy to upgrade and doesn't affect other parts of the website. Again, this is subjective based on uh, the code that you have to upgrade, right? So, or functionality that they change. So, you know, generally it's true. It can be easier in isolate to update uh, parts of your application because they're all little functions, but. There are exceptions to that. Azure Functions use industry standard protocols, probably HTTPS here, and can communicate with other APIs, databases, and libraries. That's true. You only pay while your functions are running. That is true if you use the serverless model. If you're continuously running virtual machines behind the scenes, then you are going to be paying all the time. Azure Functions automatically scale to meet the demand of traffic. That is true. Underneath, Azure will provision more service containers. That is true. Azure Functions scale, scale to zero cost. Again, depend on your hosting. Azure Function has built-in monitoring via Azure Monitor, which it absolutely does. And it can integrate uh, or has built-in CI/CD via Azure DevOps, which is very nice. Azure Functions are event-driven and will be triggered based on event data and emit event data. Absolutely. And if they didn't, then it wouldn't be function as a service. But there you go.